Right, HP laptop. Today's video is about detecting the battery um, battery voltages on the connectors and whether if the battery is faulty or there is an issue on the charging circuit. And it's quite a simple process to check that. Okay, so first thing first is less power on the laptop. Right, on and off, normal. Fan spin, should get a display very shortly. Displays on. Let's disregard what's on the screen. Let's measure those points. Um, it's drawing 19. Port. I've set it, my bench power supply to 19.6 uh, volt, and that's what is 19.5 is required. And if you look, it's drawing 0 .0, 0 0.665 amp. Okay, let's uh, let's look at those. Uh, pins here okay so first thing first is that the, the, this 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 has um one two three four five six seven okay so two of the pins so i'm counting from my right the red ones are your positive battery uh wire there's a light green green gray and two blacks which are your negative your ground okay so th these are going to be two of them going to be a data and one's going to be battery detection um in the center so that's not well let's let's probe around and see what voltages we get so if the battery's not connected you won't get anything out of your uh, positive terminal um so that that's negligible that's 0 0.208 okay let's look at the second pin which will be exactly the same near enough now we're moving on to one of the data line or the detection line. We'll find that out when we connect the battery. So 3.373, which is normal. 3.373, that's normal. And that's, let's just quickly make sure that's, there's nothing there that's on, that's not connected. That's, uh, that's NC. 3.359, that's normal. That will be the pin that's, that, that's likely to be the battery detection. So that should go to zero as soon as I connect the battery. And the rest of the two is useless, they ground anyway. Okay, let me put my glasses on because age is catching up and uh, sadly eyesight is one thing that's going to be causing a lot of problem. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to power off the laptop. Let's connect the battery. And let's uh, probe around and see what voltages we get. Now, the question is, what have I done with the batteries here? Right. As I said before, the moral of this video is to try and establish if the battery is faulty or the, the charging circuit on the laptop is faulty as a result of that it's not charging the battery. That's, that's the moral of this video. All right. These are very basic things that should, somebody should learn before they before sort of moving on to advanced level or, or they need to know before moving on to advanced level of board repair um so let's power this on same okay and it's drawing 0 0.022 milliamp let's while the battery is connected so battery is not taking any power okay so let's power on the unit Lights on, we should get display, and let's check those voltage rail again. Don't worry about that. Okay, so here you go. The the, the amperage is, is slightly higher. It was 0 0.66 something something. It's 0 0.752, so it's slightly higher. But this should be jumping into, you know, uh, 1.8, 1. 1 point whatever it is, uh, near... If, if if the laptop is turned off, it'll say it'll consume about 1200 milliamps or a thousand milliamps charging the battery. But when the laptop is on, that's when it will start utilizing over 2000 milliamps, just depending on what application you're running while the laptop is turned on. So, for example, if you're running YouTube and it's, 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 it's utilizing a lot more resource, yes, it will start using up a lot more power, which means that your amperage on the bench supply, bench power supply will be a lot higher, near, near enough to the... Uh, um, manufacturer's requirement which is i think is that this is a 2.34 amp power uh, power supply charger um so but again if the battery's half half uh, charged and is charging 
yes, it will reach to that threshold, near enough to that threshold. So you get the idea. Let's not sort of waffle on with that, right? So let's check on the uh, positive terminals and see what we get. 200. Okay, so there hasn't been any changes. Let's see what we get on 3.3. Next one should be 3.3. Next one should be zero because it's NC, not connected. The next pin will be zero, that's your battery, so it's detected the battery, and those are your ground. Okay, now this is where it gets a bit tricky. So usually when you connect the battery on most laptops, you should still get a voltage output. On some laptop, if the battery is knackered and it's not drawing anything, then the, 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 the charging circuit senses that and it just stops from sending any voltages out. So it, 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 it's, in, in, in other words, that the battery has to eat and if the battery is not eating because the cells are damaged, there won't be a voltage present on those pins, if that makes some sense. OK, so. My conclusion to this matter is that the battery is knackered. OK, the charging circuit is fine. But what we could also do is run run some test on, on diode mode and almost just to try and establish that and see what's going on. So let's depower the system. Unplug this. Get rid of this, get rid of the battery as well see what the manufacturers are doing is is, is there is a, a basic pattern but things are getting changed every time they're manufacturing and every time they're bringing out another generation of laptop for example if you look at the repair process on the the earlier laptop like the fifth gen and the sixth gen when you look at it at repair process or the ninth gen or the tenth gen things have changed the, the way 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 the, the the board level repair has has changed uh, and that's what they're doing just complicating things uh god knows why they do that but they just keep on complicating things Just having a sip of my herbal tea right so what we're going to do we're going to run we're going to measure in diet mode just to see what readings we get okay so let's put down diet mode red probe on ground probably go to the nearest ground okay not the fact that it matters but i prefer doing that this way okay so there's no power batteries disconnected let's check the voltage okay so it's 0.6 four that'll get the same reading let's check those other two 0 0.559 0 0.559 that'll be nc that not connected the what pin number is this let's just get this out one two three four five five is unconnected six is the battery detection line that's giving 1.545 that's fine and the ground is that's going to beep anyway okay let's run some ohm test on this so I'm going to swap over the probe. Black goes onto the ground. And then the red can I'll be probing around with. Let's see what we get. See that pattern and see that the way it's charging and discharging. As far as my understanding is that this circuit is functional. There isn't a fault or a short on that circuit. Okay. So I'm not going to bother with this set num pin number two because it's exactly the same. But if you want me to do it, I'll do it. That's the same sort of pattern. Can you see if it's what it's doing? Right. Okay. We'll go and move on to the uh, third pin. There's no shot on that. Look at that. That's in kilo ohms. Okay. Fourth pin. It'll do this. Zero point is going down. Let's see. Again, same pattern. Fifth pin is going to be nothing. That would be an OL well because it's not connected. Six pin is your data. Again, it's in it's in its kilo ohms. Absolutely fine these readings. And the four, six, seven, and eight is ground. So then not relevant. You're going to get 0 0.03. Anyway, so there you have it. Okay. So after doing this, I'm quite satisfied that the battery is knackered and the battery is not feeding itself, which is why the voltage isn't present. Now, the voltage, what should be present on these connectors, let's just check. It should be 11 point something volt, 11.1 or 14 volt. It's a 14.6 volt battery. All right. So those as soon as you get a working battery and connect it up, you should get a 14 volt out of this to uh, positive line. So there you have it, guys. That's as simple as that. Hope this is helpful to somebody who wants to start out repairing laptops and uh, 
you know, whatever. And and uh, the principle does apply to other machines. Um, so wish you all the best and uh, hope you find this uh, useful. That's all, guys, for today. You look after yourself, stay well, stay safe, and have a great weekend. Um, all the best. Bye for now.